getting geared up for another trip to the cabin this time with some precious cargo made it down to the launch site in the truck and just slept in the back last night full of windows yeah uh, so I've got the kayaks that I can load down pretty well and the old system of an air mattress uh, with hopefully the entire load of windows on there it's like 6:45 or so and it is freezing cold and I wanted to get here early and try and get as much as I could done before it starts pouring rain so stay tuned we'll see if we can get some house wrap on and windows in before it's soaking wet all right here's the kit the kayak's about as loaded down as it's ever been these bags are all tools and water basically so it's probably an extra hundred pounds at least and then there's all the windows uh, eight of them plus I've got a couple super light little foldable saw stands and my ladder hooks hopefully want to rest up there and make the trip Is officially here it's turning brown all these huge six-foot ferns are brown and dying off my little walk from the river that in my last few videos was over my head is beaten down and brown it's finally accessible but it is freezing cold and super wet the cabin is just how I left it roofing membrane is on one half you can barely tell but hopefully at the end of this trip we'll have a little more roof on there uh, we finished, uh, other than the ridge cap, still need some work, finished installing the standing seam on the loft end, and it is bone dry in here. This is where we've been staying. Throw a little blow-up mattress in there and just a bug screen, essentially. Here's our lovely kitchen cooktop, but I'm starting to get so much stuff here, I need like a new way to organize. These bags are all full of tools and stuff that's going to stay here also. So I need to get some, maybe a couple more bins is all it needs right now, but the goal for this trip, and especially this morning, since it's still not raining till it's probably gonna start in like a half hour or something, right once I get everything in off the river, but uh, before it's soaking wet, at least I'd like to get some Tyvek on the house uh, so I can throw some windows up. Uh, it's yeah, all brown. Nice misty morning. It's actually a really fun paddle down the river. But my feet are cold. Haven't quite mastered how to hop into a um, how to hop into a fishing sit on top kayak without stepping in the water first when you launch it from shore, especially with an extra couple hundred pounds of bags. All right, let's get this stuff in. All right, just got the last of the nine windows in. So there's, all these square ones are the same and they're eaves, so they swing out one way or another. Kitchen window, these two big guys, and then the money windows up in the loft and I brought that sliding glass door in. It was the very first thing on the property almost, <laughs> right here. Five foot sliding glass door. And as you can hear, I got everything off the beach. So my little floaty rafts in, getting dry. My blanket that weighs 10,000 pounds when it gets wet, it's hanging up to dry. And I don't know if you can hear it on the metal roof up there, but it just started raining. So I'll take that as a little blessing. 
Although now it's soaking wet, so I still have a bunch of work I can do. Here to stay dry, I have to block out all of these rafter spaces. There's one project I can do to stay dry. And I've read a bunch that if it's raining out and your substrate's not like soaking wet, even if it is wet, you can put Tyvek over it, which I don't know if I'm totally cool with, but if it's not windy and this rain's coming straight down and this all stays dry, I'm gonna Tyvek it. Uh, maybe I won't caulk in the bottom seam or something, let it dry out. Uh, and I'm not putting siding on until next summer or sometime, so it's got plenty of time to dry out from the inside and everything anyway. Uh, yeah, working in the rain, I even thought to bring dry socks and dry shoes. I'm pretty stoked about that. Alright. Alright, so that's the first go around, doing it so it's just feathered over my sheathing. And that definitely took minutes, not an hour, so I've got it, I don't know, more or less tacked up I guess, but about every two feet or so knocked in. I'm leaving this kind of flapping a little bit. Probably till I'm ready to put the siding on and then I'll run a bead of caulk under there and squish it down. I'll probably do that as I install up here under the overhangs. Uh, but it's bone, it is super satisfying. It's also upside down. <laughs> but I think it looks good and it should go on relatively quick. I'm almost thinking on this next round where I'm still able to do it maybe a little bit on a ladder, but mostly just standing on the ground, I'll get measurements so I can cut lengths and then when I'm doing these upper parts, I'll be able to pre-cut something so when I'm way up on a ladder, it'll be a little easier. Oh, I'm taping seams, so. I was thinking I would just wrap the whole thing around, but it's just kind of hard to deal with that roll with one person. So I'm running one around about eight inches and then overlapping about eight inches so I can tape this seam. And then I'm putting in my uh, little pancake nails through both of those on the corner. I think that's pretty dang solid. Yeah, nice. I'm assuming I'll thank myself and 2021 or later whenever I put the siding on all the studs I just threw a little wax pencil mark on and I'll just do that all the way up to Tyvek
Okay, so after you get that next row Tyvek on there, same thing, cut this so I could fold these back and then cut these little angle reliefs and tuck up that flap so then I can caulk the sides and top, put in my window and get that flap over the top nailing fin and then flash it down. Uh, it's going to have to survive without siding on it for at least a winter, I think, so I'm really going to flash it well. and. Try and make sure it holds up, but everything's going up pretty quick. Keeps raining hard off and on. I'm only working outside really when it's not raining too bad. I'm trying to stay dry. Looks good. There it is. First window. Almost into the cabin, but you can tell they're black on the outside, and it's gonna be like a really black ish, close to black anyway, siding. And here's how she lined up inside. I came in to check, make sure my gap was pretty good, which it's tight, and that is because I forgot all of my shims. So that's just a little bit of plywood. Uh, and I shaved down with a knife and leveled this before I put the window in. And it turned out pretty dang good, actually. Although it's a little tighter than I'd like on the top side. We'll be able to jam that out super nice. Alright, looks great. It's a window. Alright, so again, as you can see, this bead of caulk goes all the way around the top. It's open on the bottom, so if water does get in there, it can drain. The sills have a tiny little angle to them. Uh, so I'll nail this guy around, put that flap down, uh, flash the sides. Maybe I'll use that Vicor stuff. It actually sticks super well uh, up the sides and then over the top, and it'll be sealed on in. Awesome, so we have this one to do next. Weather considering it's only about two o'clock, I might even get to a couple of these, we'll see. So I ended up using the bicor to flash the fins in on the sides and then the top, uh, which I think will work pretty good. This stuff's super sticky on Tyvek, um, and I can even tape these in with some more Tyvek brand tape. 
we need to. Uh, I kind of screwed up. Well, I didn't screw up. I thought I was using smaller tape, but I came too close uh, on some of these little pancake nails. So instead of ripping them out and placing them somewhere else so they don't collect water, I've just been kind of cutting them out and making it so they would drain water when it hits it. But I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out, for sure. Uh, Windows look great and they're functional. And they're level and plumb as best I can tell, which is great. And it's just cool to be here in fall. I was going to show this little fern goal. You've probably seen me walk through here a ton of times. And when I do, I'm starting to get soaking wet. So I'm not going any further, but it's just all fall. They just got toasted totally brown. The aspens are starting to change color a little bit. It's looking like a junkyard here, but I was about to say it's starting to look pretty good. Um, started in on flashing the sills on some of these guys. I'll grab this one, run another sheet of Tyvek, and Knock out three more windows pretty quick.